Good day, puppy lovers. Today I have Mr. Yogi with me. Don't a baby. Oh, <laughs> telling me secrets? Yeah. He's a handful. So we're going to see how it goes today. He had his bath, so now I'm going to draw him. And we do the best we can today with Yogi. <laughs> Maintaining the cleanliness of your dog's eyes is crucial for several reasons. Firstly, it helps prevent infections caused by bacteria that can accumulate in the eye area. Regular cleaning can also aid in the early detection of potential issues such as conjunctivitis or injuries that may require veterinarian attention. Additionally, keeping your dog's eyes clean contributes to their overall comfort and well-being. It prevents irritants like dust or debris from causing discomfort or vision obstruction. Therefore, a simple routine of gentle cleaning around the eyes can have a significant impact on your dog's health and quality of life. So, because I know how Yogi is with the drawing, I'm going to take him and put him on my lap because these little dogs, if they're thrashing around and uh, pulling too hard, it could hurt their trachea, and especially poodles. Little poodles, they're very sensitive to their trachea. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take him, put him on my lap, and draw him on my lap. And I try to, he's tiny, right? I try to hold here, see where his shoulders are? I try to hold where that shoulder is and the other shoulder right here. I try to hold down on those legs. See? Squeeze those legs. To try to get him to not wiggle his legs out while I'm holding him and drawing him. So I hold him like that in my arm. I was doing my hang on him in the chair. So I'm holding him like this. Okay, I was holding him like this. And at one point like this. When he tries to jump out, and I hold him like that, he can't move these legs, his shoulders, so they're blocked into place. And then you try to set him down, calm him down, calm him down, and move on. And then he'll try and try and try again, and you can stop him like this. It helps. Oops. It's one way I do. I'll try to hold them in. Of course, if it's a big dog, that wouldn't work. <laughs> but I only do small dogs. I only do small dogs. Yes, I do. Only 20 pounds under. <laughs> so, all right. So, we're going to move on with the room. I am going to brush them out. What is that? He's sniffing his tail. So, I'm going to brush them out, and I'll see you in a moment. pads and his, uh, his pads, his nails, get all that done so that we can start the group. He's doing not bad. He still likes to pull a lot. Uh, so as soon as I need to stop the video and tell you something, I will. So, 
see how he won't let me do under his feet. He's pulling and turning. I don't want to hurt him. So because he's tiny, I can do that, that trick again where I hold his shoulders. I lift him up a bit. Lift him up a bit. And I'll do right under here so they can't pull that paw away from me. No, no, honey. about learning your own tricks. These are just tricks that I've learned for myself and it might not work it might not work for you. So yeah. Moving on. down, so I'm done. I'm going to grab his paw with my, my thumb and I'm going to hold around, all around here, but I'm holding his, I'm hooking his thumb and his uh, paw around my thumb. So now I'm going to try, it might not work, <laughs> I'm going to try, sometimes it works, and it doesn't work. <laughs> but it works for our thumb dogs. So, what are we going to do next? Huh? How are we going to get in there, honey? How are we going to get in there? I need to shave under... Okay, we're going to stand him. Stand him. I need to shave here because that can get all knotted up. So, see, this is working. So, because this is working, I'm going to write it down in this file, I'm going to write it down that I need to stand them to do this. Because this works for some. Not all, I guess. But it works for him. Put all of that hair out of under his arms so he won't be mad enough. So here, I need to keep him in place here. I'm holding underneath, I'm holding his shoulders, the back of his shoulders right here, here, and with my thumb right there. More on the shoulders, less on the body, more on the shoulders to lock those legs in. Because he just wants to squirm. He doesn't like the clipper next to his head. So, um, we do what we can, coming slowly. A little bit iffy about this. Let's see how it goes. We'll tie him back up. Okay, right back here. There. On the sides. Tie him back up. Make sure he doesn't fall off the table. And then we'll move on.
I was really nervous about the clipper around his head. I'm just his resting his um, his chin's resting on the knuckle of my thumb. And I'm just grabbing a hold. I'm not I'm not choking. <laughs> I'm just grabbing a hold like this and show him it's okay. You gotta train him. And show him it's okay. It's okay. You're all good. It's okay. Get used to the sound. It's okay. It's okay. I have to do this with him every time he comes in so that he gets used to it, right? It's okay. Sit. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. I'm going to go back of the head, see if I can get in there. Oh, no, left, 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 left. You're okay, you're okay, you're okay. You're okay. <laughs> do this side here. Come on, you let me do this side. You're okay, you're okay. So he hears the clipper get close to his ears. And you can touch him and pat him. Cheat and come in once in a while. See? Set a little bit. Trust me. And trust the clicker too. Wow. You didn't let me do this the last time. Get it down. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. You do a good job. You still more. Can you do your belly now? Come up. Oh, sorry guys, itchy nose. Into the belly, softly, softly. Okay, we're coming in the other angle with this. Good boy. Can you put your hip foot down? Can you go between your legs? Just between, he won't let me do that, eh? I'll try to do it this way. So I'll just come in with scissors later. At least we got this pretty much done. Sit, 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 sit. Okay. Touch, 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 touch. So he hears the clipper next to his ear. And he's getting used to it. Okay. I'm gonna do the other side too. You might not let me do the other side. Touch, touch. Good boy. All right. Wow. We did it. We did it. I'm going to try to do the top of his head. Usually I have to do it <laughs> by hand. But I'll take all of his hair and then snip, snip. But I really want to get him used to the clipper around his head, so practice. It's almost perfect. He just wants to climb up on it. Oh, so we're gonna do a 13 millimeter. That is the number one and is called orange peach. Will he let me do this? I'm not gonna fight him for this because this is too close to his eyes. So if he doesn't want, he doesn't want. Okay? Come here, honey. Sit, sit. Sit, sit. Sit, sit. If you don't want, you don't want. It's okay. You don't have to. Just get you used to the sound next to your ears. Get you used to the sound next to your ears. That's okay. That's okay. Now I'm keeping a solid grip on his head. I don't want him yanking. Good boy. Good boy. There. That's the first time he lets me do that. Good boy. First time. There's our first time for everything. Good boy, so I did it. <laughs> he did it. He did it. All right, moving on.
think this is another way when the dog wants to pull on the leg. I'm locking the, the elbow back here. I'm holding this bone here lightly. Just keeping the elbow in, in place so that they can't we can't pull it out so I can make a nice straight line. Also, rub that in. Ooh, it's hot in here today, guys. My, my. Oh, I don't have my air conditioning going. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, so he decided that he wants to stand. <laughs> All right. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Let's blend this in a bit. See things here that I don't like. Blend that in. Blend that in. Blend this in. All right, moving on.
So the way I'm holding him, I have my fingers right behind his ears. I'm like this, like a V, like this. He lays in my hand and I'm holding behind his ear. And he lays in my hand like that. And I keep him from jerking around and turning and best as I can. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And that's what you gotta do in this business. You gotta try, try. What works for one may not work for the other. So now we're finally seeing his eyes. We could not see your face. Where was your face? Where were your eyes, more or less? Hmm? You took a lot of that off, eh? You sure did. You sure did. You keep nitpicking in there. Picking at it. There's always a little hair here and there. So now we see his eyes. I'm going to change positions here. I'm going to hold him from behind, behind the ears, and I'm going to cut some of this off right in here. Straight across. Like that. Yep, that's short enough. And give it up. Really? <laughs> so now I'm going to pull all of this forward here. And as usual, I'm holding his head. Come take this off here. I'm going to pull his ear back. I'm going to actually take this off. I prefer not working with the ear lead while I'm uh, doing the head. So up with the ear. Hold the top of the nose. And there's a little hole here where the tongue is. In here. And hold that. Like that. So I'm holding the ear with one finger. The other finger is my middle finger is under there. And the top thumb. Some of that off. That. I usually go in with scissors, like normal scissors, to come take the most of the majority of the bulk off. And then after that, I'll come in and I'll use thinners. You can come in and take a whole bunch off also, but it doesn't leave as many marks. I'm going to change the face here. I'm going to bring all of this up. Bring it all up, whoops. <laughs> and I'm going to round this out here. Hang on, honey. And then I'm going to just come and meet the eye, round the eye. Okay, so now that he's all calm, my other cat's gonna try to come in. So I like to go behind the ear after and get rid of all of that. Like that. Okay. So we'll do the other side. And we're gonna do his ears and we're almost done. Ears done. Just wants to sniff everything. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to try to follow him. <laughs> if he wants to lay down, I'll follow his lead and I'll lay down. Yeah, lay him down. Whatever he wants, whatever he wants. As long as he's not pulling away from me. And if you pull away from me, then I won't be able to do it to finish the room. Hmm? Yeah, so we gave him some puppy ears, they're not done. I 
contoured them. Now I'm going to come in and fluff this up. It's going to stay here. I'm just going to take all of that off. Mm -hmm. Another side too. Can I fluff it up? Fluff that up. Holding the finger or the uh, ear. Put my finger, hold it and put my finger underneath to keep it nice and straight. Like that. Okay, comb it out. It's never done in one in one pass, right? You gotta come in and go in again and again. It's never quite right. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's all of that in front here? I just wanna see what's in front here. No, 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 don't look at it. Oh, look at those white teeth. <gasps> You've got the whitest of whitest of teeth. No, no. Snip. Snip. You have the whitest of whitest of teeth. You gotta show them your teeth. Wanna show them your teeth? Smile. Look at those teeth. Oh. Uh oh. That's not good. Hang on. Hang on. That's not good. That's gonna rot your teeth. Hang on. No. Give me a second. I'm sorry guys, I gotta get that out there. We had this. His teeth. That happens. And they'll get food and or if they're they have a the time up here. <laughs> or if they have a teddy bear they like to play with. How about this side? This side too, huh? Oh yeah, I remember you your other tooth didn't fall out, that's why. Come on, honey. I'm just showing your teeth. He has two teeth. That's gonna rot. Oh! Well, I have to talk to you about it. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We're almost done. We're almost done. Okay. So, we're pretty much almost done. I'm gonna finish it off. And. I'm going to take a little picture and I'll let you guys see. Hey there, pet parents and grooming gurus. If you enjoyed my tail wagging transformations and want more tips to keep your furry friends looking fabulous, just hit that subscribe button. Remember, every click helps spread the love and lathers of grooming joy. Subscribe now and let's embark on this fluffy journey together.